Hi everyone, welcome back to another one of my cryptocurrency update videos and I'm going to start with VeChain. I'm starting, I'm just going to cover the higher time frames today because when you're in a dip and it's looking scary, you know, to some of you, you might think this is looking quite scary, then it's best just to look on the higher time frames to see the bigger picture rather than what's happening now. And I just want to point out there's a few things on the weekly. So I'm going to start with this here, this M top kind of pattern here looks very similar to this here. And as you can see, we started going up. So we started looking positive, had a good few weeks of green, had a, had a dip, came back up to those highs, kind of surpassed them slightly with a wick to the upside. And then we all know that wicks to the top means you're going to drop. And that's what we did here, drop and wicked up. And then look after this huge drop here, boom, let's see what that move is. Oh, I don't think I can find the, the measuring tool actually, but it's a huge move as we can see here to the upside. And again, look, we've had a few good few weeks of green, dipped down, came back to the highs, surpassed with a wick, you can't really see, but you can see wick to the top and we've dropped. So we could drop down a little bit further here, have a big wick to the bottom, and then we could complete our, to the upside, we could complete this huge rally here and another huge rally, but it's slightly different. Here. I mean, you still had the, top, the double top here, very ugly, and then came down, looked scary, and then boom. But here we're looking at double top, boom, double top, big dip, and boom. It's just getting ready for the rally up. That is really what I believe. So now I've just shown you that. It's always good to look in the past because look to the left, that's where you get your clues. Anyway, so a few weeks ago, well, maybe a month ago now or something like that, we were in this rising wedge and that is a bullish pattern and we broke out of that to the downside bullish pattern i meant bearish pattern sorry so we broke out of that and our target is here we've hit our technical target for the for this rising wedge now so obviously we could there's so many options that can happen but i'm just going to say this that we could come down make a wick here wick back above this weekly yellow support for that continuation for that rally up here Obviously, this yellow line is so key to get above because it's a huge support level. And if we do lose this, it's not looking good. You're looking down to the lows, you know what I mean? You're looking to come back to all these lows here, which we don't want to happen. That's your bear market. We don't want that. Oh, God, sorry. So let's add some fibs and see what's going on on the weekly. Okay, so we know we lost a 0.618. What happens? You go to the one fib level. Okay, so we could then come down now come down to about 0.042 cent to find a bottom here. It actually lines up with this wick here, so we could be retesting this for our continuation back working your way up the fibs. Obviously, we know if we lose the one, we go to the 1618 here, and again, previous lows, that would take us to 0.016 cent, which obviously we don't want to happen. That's so bearish. But it's a possibility if we lose this, this key level here, especially if we're losing these levels here. But for now, we really need to hold 0.042 cent. It's so key that we hold that for continuation up. You know, it's so important right now. These fibs are key, key. These fibs are key to getting targets down to the downside and the upside. So we're really looking to stay above the one to get us back above the 0.618 here. So we just got to see if Bitcoin carries on dipping. This is going to carry on dipping as well. So we've got to see how Bitcoin is playing out too. Okay, so I'm going to go on to the daily now. That's all I'm going to cover really today, guys, because obviously I don't want to look on the smaller time frames at the moment. That's just up to me. Oh my God, I'm so zoomed out. Okay, so we were in this. I've deleted the neckline. Let me add that again. This head and shoulders pattern here. So we had one shoulder, one head and another shoulder. There's our neckline there. So you measure from, I'm just going to get rid of this, let's measure that again. Obviously you can probably tell that the target has hit. But just in case you haven't, there we go. So our technical target for the head and shoulder pan has hit, it has surpassed that. And we, we are making a big wick here right now under that yellow moving average, and moving average under the yellow weekly support. And we are wicking now, so we've hit, this, hit the technical target. Normally we do surpass it. Are we going to come back up and wick back up holding this as support for continuation? I hope so. You know, if we're continuing down from here, we're just free falling at the moment. We're literally just free falling down. And remember that the markets don't naturally go down. This is all manipulation from institutions. 
big companies getting in. They want you to sell so they can get more. So don't let them win. I mean, obviously you can do what you want. It's not financial advice, but don't let these institutions win. This is market manipulation. The charts should be going up. They're meant to be going up. So all of this is the market's being suppressed down and we can only measure that with our patterns, with our fibs. So that's that's just what they're doing, to be honest. So let's see what we've got on our fib here, from here to here. Yes, yeah, so obviously we've lost the 1618 as well. As we know, that's our bottom target. So we our lowest we could go without it being completely bearish is 0 0.04 cent. Okay, so obviously we're wicking now, but if we hit our head here, we're probably going to be seeing this this price like this price right here at the 2.272, which we don't want to see. But if we can find a bottom here for that rally up, it will be worth it. These downs are so worth what is going to happen in the future in the coming months. So just hold hold in there, guys. Hold tight. Obviously, we really want to be holding 0.053 cent. If we can hold this. Hopefully then we can come back and hold our 0 0.068 cent. That's another key level, key price level here. So we've got the 1 and the 1618. Even if we range between, that's okay because it means we're still holding levels. We just don't want to be losing this here. If we lose this here, I do believe that we are bearish, of course. And obviously we look very bearish at the moment, but we're just free falling. So we need to wait where we can bottom out and see what Bitcoin is going to do as well. But obviously we've used our fibs. We've got our prices here. 0.04 cent hopefully if we do go down there we are going to hold that and wick back up as we're doing right here and we really want to just be working our way back up the fibs but it's going to take a while guys it doesn't, it doesn't happen overnight um there's not really much more i can say on this but i've given you what i see remember on the weekly of that pattern where it just rallied up after hopefully that's what we're doing now it looks very similar in my opinion and um yeah, so just stay strong, guys. Hold in there and um, just subscribe to my channel, like and comment down below, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.